We're good. Okay, so welcome to Sprint Planning. This is Sprint 3 uh, with this team. It's a relatively new team, so I'm just going to reiterate this power start that you would have heard before. So we sort of call it a power start there. So the purpose of a Sprint Planning is for us to plan for the next iteration, for the next two weeks. It's pulled work from the backlog. At the end of this sprint, at the end of the sprint planning, we'll have a sprint backlog, we'll have a sprint goal. It means we'll have a shared understanding. Why does this help you? It means the product owner has transparency. You've been able to inspect and adapt the product backlog and pull work in. It means a team have a shared understanding of what the business wants. So this meeting, this, this event is split into two parts, part one and part two. Part one is about what, what the business value is, what the business wants, and that's owned by the product owner. The second part is for the team to self-organize on how we're going to work. I'm gonna be your Scrum Master today, but I'm also an Agile coach, so I will chip in where I can to help us understand the Scrum framework. I'm also gonna help the product owner understand how to be a product owner. Also, this is my product owner next to me, and you and the team, I am expecting us to collaborate, to work together. It's not just a meeting, it's a collaborative event. Uh, we'll go straight to our check-in round. So, 